The roadblock most of us inevitably encounter when we start figure drawing is the feeling that our sketches come across very stiff and upright. We're looking to create those cool action poses and nice flowing rhythms, but what often ends up happening is the results aren't nearly as dynamic as we would wish them to be. So why does this happen? Surprisingly, it's our perception of the world that is influencing things to a great degree. When we are interacting with others, in most instances, we are looking at them from a front on or from a profile view. It's not often we are conversing with someone whilst they're in some type of dynamic pose. So when we start to draw the figure, a little bit of a mental tug of war begins to develop. We want those nice fluid poses, but our natural tendency is to see things in a more straight and upright way. Our real world biases are influencing how we draw and position our figures. The end result is a sketch that sits somewhere between what our creative side wants and what our mind is used to seeing. So how do we offset this? Well, what we need to do is challenge our own perceptions. Whatever position we think our reference model is in, we want to ensure as we are drawing that we are bending, twisting and stretching that pose more than what we actually see. We want to twist that torso a little more away from us, stretch that arm a little further out, bend that neck a little bit more. We want to push our poses to a more extreme place. The more we are aware of that natural bias, the more we can create for ourselves a pathway to counteract its influence and produce figures that are action-packed and dynamic. Looking to create more dynamic poses in your figures? Then check out the JW Learning figure drawing classes on Skillshare. Sign up with the link in the description to get your free trial today. Let's get drawing.